What a day. Ah, uh, okay. I'm back. How you doing, Mike? I'm fucking all right. Um, life is up and down. I think I'm a people pleaser, and when I don't please the people, in my head, I start hating myself. Hmm. And I was at the gym today, and I was like, am I just trying to please the people, or do I want to please myself at the gym? Why am hmm. I working out? To please the doctor who said I need to get in better shape? Or do I really want to work out? Because I don't. I hate working <laughs> I hate it. I fucking hate it, jocks. I hate snakes. I hate them. <laughs> I and, mean, like, exercise is a good thing that I think is good that does make you feel better even if you don't necessarily feel it immediately. Yeah. You know, I think it's just like a general, like, okay, you know? Something to get the blood pumping. Yeah. Because I, I wake it. up, I wake up every fucking morning, and I'm like, I don't want to exercise at all. I just yeah. want to go about my business. But I know that if I don't exercise, I probably won't be as much of a banana as I could be. Do you exercise and every day? Every day. Wait, are you shitting me? No, I'm not shitting you, man. The exercise that I do, I'm not like going to the gym every day. You know, I'm not lifting every day. You know, sure. I have like a routine. I think I've showed it to you. I yes, think I you did. Even you, like I printed it, it out. Um, yeah, and you then should I try put this that thing. under my so bed. It's like um, you know five different like sort of yoga esque exercises where you do like reps of like going from one pose to another, and it takes like no fucking time and just feels real nice. And I still don't ever, ever want to do it. Even though it only takes like 15 minutes tops, I'm just like, no. Yeah, Absolutely you know, not. I did do it a couple times. I didn't do it a lot, but I did it a couple times. And um, it was. It loosened me right up. You know, I as people, we, we're both video in video, and we sit all day, and... Yeah. Then to, to let off some steam, we fucking go sit down on another thing that's softer. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> so I think about this. It's like you, we trade one screen for another screen. We're like, oh, I can't look at this fucking screen anymore. Let me go watch TV. Let me go look at this other one that's bigger. <laughs> yeah, and then when I'm bored, I'll look at the small one in my hand. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's all fucked up. And there's certain activities in your life that... You know, you could go outside and play golf, or you could play, you know, Mario Golf. Or you could try to, you know, play a rap show and DJ, or you could stay in and play DJ Hero. Oh, shit. That's right. It's Dunce Cast with Samurai Banana. And Starring Dunce Cap. Starring Dunce Cap. Starring. And? You're, you're the star. I I'm don't know. I'm the feature. You're the star. I'm the feature. I guess you know? I can't, I shouldn't try to be humble. It's called fucking Dunce it's Cast. It's Dunce Cast, man. That's why, like they, like in the title of the podcast, we don't even have to put your name in there. You're just like there. You are Dunce Cast. We've already talked about how there's other Dunce Casts, but I'd like to just yes. formally say, fuck all of them. <laughs> fucking posers. Dude, we're, we're, we're breaching on another set of games where it's like, hey, there's other things exactly like this, professionally <laughs> crafted tools, but why don't you play the toy version? Mm, um, toy which I'm being salty right now, so let me just take five Ooh. seconds back and actually... No, I love the salt, dude. No, because it's misplaced. It's like, I, it's angst, <laughs> you know? Uh, I actually think that all of these games are really cool for what they are trying to do, like these, specifically the DJ video games. Again, you all know wow. we're doing hip-hop games, Pillars of Hip Hop, now we're doing DJing, and it bleeds over into to production because I guess it just does. 
Tim? I take issue with this, and I'll bring it up later, though. You want to bring it up right now? It sounds like a no. fucking great time to no. bring it up. No, we'll wait until I'm complaining about it. When it we're sounds like about you're it. kind of complaining now. Am I wrong? No, no, I can't because I'm not allowed to complain about it because we sort of talked about a loose layout of the show, and so now I think it's really time to just sort of talk about DJ Hero, and and how kind of weird that is. All right, you know? keep your secrets then. I'm keeping my secrets, you know, like build up to something. We're building up to something. Yeah. This is the dunce cast. We're building up to We're a, edging. To a, we're edging. We're going to come so hard. Well, you it's know. It's going to be juicy and thick. I still have the DJ hero. Thanks again to John D from Sticks and Stone Gaming. He lent Thank me his so Xbox much. 360. And hero. the hero of DJ hero. Yes. We played this for a little bit because the Xbox was finicky. Shout out to John T. Um, no, but for real though, uh, it was working until it wasn't. And we thank you. Um, I fuck we got it working enough. <laughs> yeah. We get the gist. I mean, <laughs> if anybody has played um, whatever, Guitar, guitar Hero, you already know what DJ Hero is because you're like, oh, they made a DJ Hero? And basically 2009 this came out and it was a spinoff of Guitar Hero. They had How? some people to like uh, advertise this. They had DJ Shadow, Z Trip, DJ AM, Grandmaster Flash, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and Daft Punk. Generally, people fucked with the game put out by, uh, or we already know it was put out by Activision, but... I could uh, read off some songs here from the on disc soundtrack. We got Tupac, we got Queen, we got Shlomo, we got 50 Cent Rihanna. You know what? 50 Cent is so prevalent in this era. You yeah. know, like early 2000s, tapping out at like the uh, 2010s, kind of. I mean, he was like the big rap name of at the time. Like, he was probably the biggest rapper of that era. Like, yeah. until. Until he went away after the Kanye rivalry. Dude, I was. But I'm let's so not, glad you brought that up. But let's not go too far deep into. I that. won't. I won't get lost in the sauce here. But <laughs> it's too much sauce. I think We've he already should come back with Curtis too. I think that's <laughs> what the answer is. I mean, I'm pretty sure that that you put Fifty Cent in the spotlight, he'll say some anti-Semitic shit. So that's fair. But uh, <laughs> let's give him a chance to get canceled. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Put the spotlight on him again. You know, I. You know, we need a little more New York on the map. But <laughs> basically, DJ Hero, um, you know what it is. And we played it a little bit. It was a little different than, I guess, Guitar Hero. Granted that one of them is about guitars. I guess the, they kind of function the same thing. And I also want to the same way because it's like at the end of the day you're just pressing buttons that like you're yep. playing simon you know this thing mm -hmm. you're you want to hit this hit that hit this mm -hmm. next one hit that i know i'm not i'm getting less talk good as i speak <laughs> good mike talk well and have fun yeah i mean you know it is really just tapping buttons i kind of for like it's been a very long time since I played Guitar Hero. Yeah. Um, There's a way more. Like, Guitar Hero to me makes a lot of sense because you're tapping these buttons along to the notes that are playing. You know. Yeah. Um, more or less. I mean, depending on your your skill level, your difficulty. Right. But like playing DJ Hero was a little weird because like when you're DJing, you're not really like tapping a lot of buttons to keep a song playing right you know? and that was something that threw me off so like all right so well, as if, you're go on yeah. what oh no, no no i was gonna set a stage but do you have a thing do you i was just something? gonna say hey tim what if there was a whole extra monitor that came with dj hero and it was just a big itunes and like, <laughs> you know you have to just go through the songs and throw them on <laughs> Make sure that they're going w down well with the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> but that's actually kind of what I would want from a DJ game. Like, that's the indie DJ hero I want. You want to, like, have the nerve-wracking experience of not really being super sure about what comes next? 
Yeah, fuck fantasy. <laughs> I want full anxiety. <laughs> well, like think of like uh, for some reason, Coffee Talk came up. You ever play that game? No. It, What's it's, Coffee Talk? It's like um, it's like a really heavy dialogue based game, uh, where you're in this kind of like analog city, like. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was going to say New York analog, and I don't know if it is. Uh, but you're in a city, and, like, there's hipsters, and they're all animals. And you're in, like, the one cozy safe space and neighborhood. So people just kind of come in. Like, you have regulars that like certain types of coffee or whatever. But then they mm. also talk to you. And <laughs> it's, it's like, kind of like a romance simulator type of deal where you're, like, talking to people. And I haven't played it. Actually, I think oh. it was free. The point is, you could play it, I could play it. We both have not really played it. But <laughs> what about DJ Hero, but instead of the coffee, it's DJing. And instead of the people, it's still people, but like in a crowd way. And you don't talk to them. I mean, Doug, like, what happens when people ask DJs for particular songs is that DJs ignore them. So, like, that's a cool mechanic. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about a game based on something that, like, DJs very, 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 very rarely will be like, oh, yeah, I'll play your request. It's like you basically have to request a song that they're already going to play. Right. Because, like, it's just not going to happen. You know, somebody goes up and, like, oh, man, this is this is good, but... But could you play? Could you play this song? It'd be great. You know, it'd be so good. DJ's gonna fucking shoot you a look like he wants to kill you because he does. Wait. So, hey, Samurai Banana, you're hey, D Mike. you're DJ Samurai Banana, right? <clears throat> I mean, not officially, but I am a DJ. Samurai Banana is a DJ. You've definitely. But I am not. I'm not DJ Samurai Banana. Okay. It's like Kid Koala. Gotcha. You know? Well. First of all, yeah, you motherfuckers out there, you learn the man's name. <laughs> Second off, there's a chance, there's a chance that I'm going to be credited a, on a project as DJ Samurai Banana. You know, and um, I'm only slightly bitter about it. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. I guess the point I was going to bring up is: Do people right. have ever given you egregious requests? I don't know that you DJ in like party situations as much. I mean, I definitely did, and I definitely received some requests that I was just like, nah. Nah, but, dog. But, I mean, it is true. Okay, so there is – I do actually remember – I don't remember people requesting things that I had no interest in playing. But I do actually remember a request that I was very much open to. I was, like, 16, DJing uh -huh. this college party – Um that I had gotten through my dad. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, one of one of um, one of my dad's students. Uh, my dad te was teaching at Johnson and Wales at the time, and one of his students, you know, you know, was like had a you know pretty good relationship with him, and you know, you know, my dad told him was like, yeah, you know, my kid's a DJ, you know, and and this guy Richard um, was like, hey, I mean, you know, I needed. DJ, like, you know, do you think he would he would want to do that? And my dad was like, Yes, absolutely, do this. Bring my child to your bring <laughs> college my child party. to your school. That's sick. Did everybody um, like rub no your to head? not not the school? This was a house party, my dude. Oh, uh, for some reason in my head, like you know, I blended no. the two. No, this was getting fucked up. Um, <laughs> that's Love what it. this was about. But like, while I was DJing this house party, which I thought it's maybe the coolest I've ever been. And it was certainly the coolest I've ever been in high school. Um, this like um, older black woman who was like maybe in her like late thirties came over and requested deep cut. No, not deep cut, deep cover. She requested bitches ain't shit by Dr. Dre. And I was like, yes, <laughs> absolutely. And I like fucked up my whole flow and just dropped it immediately. And like, we both just fucking danced together and rapped along. It was fantastic. It was incredible. That's the most wholesome thing. But listeners, let me just say, 
that is an extremely rare thing that has happened. Please don't go up to DJs and request a song. Just don't do what it. What about weddings? Is that okay? Oh, God. I mean, like, I don't know. I'm not a fucking wedding DJ. Hey, um, I'm just, I'm asking. I'm sure someone out I mean, there. I guess maybe rules don't apply as much, but I feel like At still, weddings, like, rules don't apply. Got it. I, 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 I feel like, yes. Unless, like, unless you're confident that the DJ wants to have sex with you, um, I I think uh, it's just better to avoid. <laughs> that's that's my advice. I'll take it. I'll take that <laughs> advice. But we've come a long way from DJ Hero. We have. Um, it's been sex with the DJ could be a part of our t- coffee talk game. Ignoring <laughs> ignoring songs and stuff like that. You know, maybe like y- you will have to learn to put up boundaries in our game. To, with requests and then maybe once in a blue moon once in your life you'll get the cool lady asking for uh ice cube songs or uh dr Dre songs well to be fair i did not want to have sex with this woman but <laughs> she was super chill she was super fucking cool i hey. was just like yes i absolutely hey, hey, want to hey mike sorry to cut you off on that beautiful story no, that's fair um, 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 Jinx was going to transition into <laughs> other scratch based games that we got here. We got or uh, DJing based games because we do have some glorious treats ahead with like talking about MTV music treats. generator. It's true. We're getting uh, too lost in the sauce, but hey, it's fucking great. Honestly, <laughs> um, beat mania. We didn't play together, um, but I just want to talk about briefly, which basically arcade game, uh, rhythm game, made by Konami in 1997 when was it first came out. Big boom in music games, and that's why that came. But in, if you've ever seen it in arcades, there's two turntables, and then there's a big screen and, like, a big stereo and shit like that. You know, um, that's something that would have been better about DJ Hero is if it had two turntables. I feel like they only have the one, right? Yeah. And I, I feel like it would have been a lot cooler if there had been a second, you know? But, uh, yeah, it would have. Um, <laughs> I guess I don't know enough. Like, I know that, like, if you have two turntables, you could, like, you know, what, beat bounce or whatever, where it's, like, loop bounce and you could, like, make a thing last forever. Hip-hop is invented, right? <laughs> is you this can correct? some breaks. Um, Loops and no, breaks. I mean, I, well, I mean, the thing is, like, okay, so I personally not done talking about DJ Hero. Right. I don't want to move on to this game that I didn't actually get to play. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All I, I just wanted to touch on it and say two turntables, still bullshit. And it's still <laughs> just a game where you push buttons. And you're just tappity tapping? Yeah, it's just a tappity tap. But so, see, I would be, I would be, like, I mean... I think that like being able to tapity tap on like two sides is a sort of better thing. Better you know? than so you weren't like because in DJ Hero like if I mean, we do get into the into the gritty of it a little bit like they had mm-hmm. the slider they had some buttons mm-hmm. and then like there's buttons on the actual record which as we all know you're not there's no buttons on records which fine like I get it they had to do something yeah but like. Did you, is, was there anything as a DJ you, you did like about maybe the controller or like how the fader was played in or they, they have a knob just for effects and shit? Like, what was that? like I, that's kind of cute. I was into the fader. It was a little wonky. Um, right. Because it's like, I don't know. But I like that, like one of the things that, you know, the, the fader is used from like, for like, going like either like having the tracks play at the same time or like soloing one track versus the other. And you were able to do like cool things, like have like half a bar of one song and then switch over to the, you know, half a bar of the other song in fun ways. That's a fun thing to do as DJ doing some fun DJ stuff. Um, And like that to me, felt like DJing and I appreciated like the scratching element of the, the DJing. I, I liked how that was executed kind of for the most part. It was like, uh, if you played a band guitar rock band and then like for the drumming, they let you just do like a fill and they let you just kind of like hit whatever the fuck you want. Like 
that was kind of how the scratching was, right? It was just kind of like, I think nah, so. now scratch. Yeah. But the thing that pissed me off was that there was a pre-recorded scratch noise no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's like yeah. I didn't have that full agency of like me being able to hear the exact one-to-one product of like my hand movements, you know. Mm-hmm. It was always just kind of like wiki 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 wiki. Yeah. You know. And you know, it was like it was also a little weird. I mean, like while I appreciated the the ability to, you know, move the thing, it was still a little weird because like the platter's not moving. You know, you're not feeling the torque of the platter. I don't even know if I'm saying. Well, hey, Tim, I got Um, something for you. You got something for me? I got something for you. You know, we're talking about this 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 plastic piece of shit, right? (laughs) What if what what if a game company or what if there was a DJ game made by an actual DJ equipment company? How cool would that be? That would be pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Well, guess what? Got canceled some years ago. This oh. game, Scratch, the ultimate DJ, Newmark was helping oh. to develop it. Motherfucker. That's and, cool. And it was actually, um, I'm looking, there's trailers online. and I, oh, I it made it to the trailer stage. Yeah. So it's like, become the ultimate DJ. There's a track that looks like exactly like Guitar Hero, where it's like, there's five color buttons and you hit them. Um, it's got kind of like a cool cel-shaded look to it. And... You know, I'm watching the trailer now. I'll just say the names it has in it. Run DMC, Black Eyed Peas, Eric B and Rakim, Tech Nine, Mixmaster Mikes, The Gorillas, Nelly, Deltron 3030, Kanye West, Beastie Boys. Let um, me see. It does have a little little jog wheel thing. So Interesting. that could have been a thing, but according to my favorite uh, academic paper, Wiki PD, haha. Um, there was some legal action because of some source code lawsuit, and then it was it was going to be on iPhone and the computer and iPad, but nothing okay. ever came out. The company Bedlam Games left laid off ninety percent of its staff. Damn! And then everybody was just like, "Eh, <laughs> yeah, support just yeah." Got pulled right the fuck out. That's oh wait, bummer. that whole lawsuit thing I just said totally lied here's the actual lawsuit (laughs) so the lawsuit contends that activision purchased the uh, seven studios uh who worked on this both gain access to proprietary technology so that dj hero could come out first the los angeles superior court in which the suit was filed did not grant the requested restraining order against activision on dj hero and then Activision states that Scratch was uh, delayed as early as October 2008. They made a contract. I guess it just got all those countersuits and, you know, it was all bullshit. And I guess just all this never came out. Damn, that's a bummer because I'm looking at it. They got a Kid Koala song. They I got just over am reading that. They got like, yeah. Damn. I and was just about include... to say they got Kid Koala and RJD2. Mers, that's just like that's it's weird that they're gonna is in have Delta looking 30, 30 and Mixmaster Mike, God dude. Damn. All the games we're playing, there's a thread here, dude. Oh, I'm man. just saying it's hip hop, that's oh. actually the thread. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to play this game that might be better than the one that we played. Yeah, I, I wonder have been. what the fuck would have happened. What could have been? <laughs> You know, Harmonix, though, the people that made a rock band, they also made Fuser, which is another, like, DJ game we made. Fuser! We didn't make it. We played it. We did. We played... Well, we played a demo. (laughs) We played it, Tim! We played the game! We played the game. We did not pay full money for the game because it was... I liked it. It was weak. I liked it more than I liked whatever we were just talking about. DJ (laughs) Hero. Um, It was just more interesting. So it's another uh, DJ game, but instead of like um, trying to even pretend like you're using a DJ equipment, it's like you pretty much just like pick and choose with 
So, you know, on every game controller, there's the four buttons on PlayStation, Square, Triangle, Circle, X, you know, one, two, three, four, those buttons. So, like, those four buttons are different stems of the beat of each song that you can select. So it's like Lady Gaga poker face, squares, the vocals, triangles, keys, circles, guitar, X drums, right? And they're slightly different for each song, but they have a layout of songs. And then for each song, you can pick those different square, uh, those stems representing on those buttons. And then you kind of make your own remixes right on the spot. So I guess it's like less DJing, more yeah. remixing. But I thought that it was actually like really well done the way that they like had this whole stem integration thing and it it made some spicy drops I thought Tim <laughs> why were you so against it um because it's not it's not a DJ it's not DJ like it's like sort of fucking around with stems and I mean like unless I'm missing some like crazy new hot technology like you're not separating out stems of songs Tim there is a hot new technology doing this. Yeah? Yeah, it's like a website, and there's also plugins and stuff. But I just had to say that for is that history. A website, is that a website with plugins and stuff that actually works or that claims it works? Oh, we didn't have to. I didn't know it had to work, <laughs> Tim. Um. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's like, I mean, okay, yeah, I actually do know. I have, I have seen that there are sites that can, like, extract vocals from I'm just trying to future proof future proof this podcast I mean sure okay but or we could just say at the time of this recording you know boom golden but future like, proofed but I mean like okay so I guess it's conceivable that you're picking out stems and <laughs> like you go, show up to your gig with like four separate tracks for each song like in a folder how much did that you hurt have you four turntables or something like that or whatever you're yeah well kid koala had three turntable. you're not yelling at that guy well no but he had whatever you know what whatever <laughs> um, that's i'm just trying to razz your berries dude i mean you know i guess actually i guess actually um that's not entirely crazy because you can have a couple things layered and then layer another thing. But he's also not like, you know, like three three turntable DJs generally aren't like playing Coachella. They're not. They're not like. Mm, I don't even they? know. Man, I feel like I I've seen some on at Coachella. You know, I've never I, gone I, to Coachella. Sorry, I'm gonna right. stop talking about Coachella. No, that's fair. I just honestly am realizing that I don't know what the fuck is going on in the EDM DJ world. You yeah, know? you know, I guess I should other... say that. Yeah. You know? We're talking about DJing in like two turntables and a microphone, you know? Yeah. Fuser, not hip hop, man. Just fucking... I guess that's, you know what? I'll take it. Sold. Yeah. Sold on. Not Slam hip-hop. that gavel down. Fuck you, Fuser. You know, I, I will... enjoy you, but it you're is not cool. hip hop. It's a cool idea, and you can make some cool things, and it does, I think, um, sort of open the door to fun mashups, and sort of you can be like, oh, cool, mashups are a thing that are that is fun to make. Have you made um, any mashups? Um, not really outside of, like, full-on mixes. I, I remember mean, I played someone. Oh, I've had might some have been ones. Head Trip played a mix that you made once, and it was really good. Yeah, I, I I made some pretty decent mixes. Um, I want you to make another one. One of one of okay, so one mashup I had in a mix was uh, um, Bjork's a uh, 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 remix by Plaid of Bjork's "All Is Full of Love" over um, "Painkillers" by Cannibal Ox, the instrumental. That's fucking sick. That shit worked. <laughs> that shit fucking worked. Um, and there have been others. I've had some, you should, uh, some good ones. You know, put that out on YouTube. Put that out on YouTube. I did, I'll put it on fucking unlisted. Just let me listen to it. I'll I'll give it to you. Yes. I'll give it to you. Dude, the people no want to hear your output. Yeah, well, no one who is listening to this show casually is getting these mixes. Oh, <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everybody. But if you're a hardcore listener, 
<laughs> yeah, someone just like fucking <laughs> slamming their face into concrete. <laughs> I can't get enough of Dunce. Yeah, cast. good quip, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, you know there are some mixes that people could hear from you and I, and um. that might be something that we created in MTV Music Generator oh. separately. MTV Music Generator. The bane of my goddamn existence. So, you know what I think would be cool? This might take some editing finagling, but I'm thinking that we show each other our beats now, and then we have our conversation. Ah, uh, nah, I don't know. I want to talk about how much I hate MTV Music Generator. All right, let's I do it. Close, I'm sold. I want to close. I want to close with the songs, you know? We're building. We're building. Okay, We're building. wait. Okay. If you so, really want to build... I'm building, dog. Do you want to take like a little side quest real quick? Side quest me up, bruh. I sent you two links to two fucking games yeah. before this, and I said, hey, Tim, if you uh -huh. really want, pretty please, I love you, please don't yell at me. Uh, <laughs> you, you could play these games, and then you said, you called me up and you said, fuck you, Mike, I hate you, I'm never doing this ever. <laughs> that uh, is true, that's how this conversation went down. And then I cried... Uh huh. Um, and I laughed at you for crying. Yeah, it was <laughs> mean, uh -huh. but I actually got those to work. Um, well, so there are nice. two more games, and I won't I won't spend a ton of time on them because it all honestly is kind of just the same bullshit. Uh -huh. um, I played one, which shout out to Hajino, go climb a tree producer, and obviously produces his own shit. But shout out Hajino. He actually called me up today to say, he's like, hey, man, I just want to say, like, I loved your guys' podcast. And I was like, well, you're the best. Truly he, is. He, I told him about how we're doing DJ episodes, and I brought up MTV Music Generator, and he was like, oh, my fucking God. And then he brought up uh, Beatinator, um, a game that I didn't know existed. And he also brought up EJ Club World. So... <laughs> EJ Club World couldn't make it work in time. I was scrambling till the very last second. I got it to work oh, on the damn. emulator, and it actually, I watched like the opening film or motion picture <laughs> that happens when you load games sometimes, like older games, mm -hmm. you know, like a, like a full motion video. Yeah. There's like humans talking to me and before the, the game starts. And it was the guy, I forget his name. It's like DJ something with a C. And he's just like, hey, man, I, like, I love DJing. And, like, this is my DJ game. And he's British. And DJ Cam? Is it DJ Cam? Uh, or is it is it Carl? Oh. This was, like, definitely, like, dance shit. Oh, then it was not DJ Cam. Yeah, this, was, this game, like, was a lot about clubs. Because, like, when they were, like, kind of uh, showing off, they're like, oh, you could go to London for drum and bass. Oh, go to oh, Savalia for ambient. Like they were just like going, they were naming random countries where there's a scene <laughs> of different types of like dance music is. So I didn't Amazing. get to play, but essentially was just like a DAW that this guy made and, okay. or that was made and that you could, you know, fucking change loops around. The mm. other game. Wait, hold on. I had a question because I was actually, I was actually, um, it's a bummer that you didn't get this to work because I saw, I like sort of tried to skim through a YouTube video of EJ that didn't really work out very well. Uh, like but I saw YouTube that they exploded? have a scratch mode. Oh. No, the video just was a piece of shit and didn't show me a lot of things. But I saw that there was a scratch mode and I was really curious about that because um, I don't know what they mean by that. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, there actually, there was a video. Oh, I already, I literally just said this. But in that video, they showed scratch mode. But it was really just kind of like, on scratch mode. And then it shows, you know, like a, a record, mm. like wiki wikiing. But I didn't, I couldn't really do anything more about that. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Well. Uh, it came out on PS2, uh, 2009? Or no, two, it was released in 2007. Eight tracks of audio permits the arrangement of sound bites. Uh, there have been many. Yeah, whatever. It's it was mostly like techno and stuff. Uh, I don't know who else made. It was it was developed by Yelsey AG, published by Crave Entertainment. I don't know 
what else to say about that. But what I do know to say is that the other game, Beta Raider, was fucking sick. Really? Honestly, really cool. It was like, okay, so it was made in by Rockstar Games in conjunction with fucking Timbaland. What? Yes. Oh, Timbaland fuck. is like your host of the game. He's like, hey, what's up? Like, I have a bunch of loops you could use, a bunch of sounds, and oh then like, God. and like underneath him talking, there's like, first of all, there's like a, like a, what's the fucking, um, shit. Cute. Oh, it's like a, it's a, it's, uh, fuck. This like the Japanese Irons? anime, like when it's cute and it's small and kind of fat. What's the word for that? Kawaii? No, that's like no. cute. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But there is like a kawaii looking fucking Timbaland in this game. He's not trying to be, but he is. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I don't remember that. Chibi! Chibi, yes! There's like, I think that's actually a stretch. It's not a Chibi Timbaland, but I wish it uh, was. Uh, but anyway, it's just like a, a very charming, like, mouth beat. Uh, obviously, mouth beat's not a thing. But like, all the instruments are like, obviously, loops of him, like, boop, 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 boop. And then he's just like talking over, like, hey, I'm Timbaland, and uh, welcome to my, my thing. Um, Carl Cox was the name of the guy in the other thing. I missed that. Okay. I just read. Okay. Let's get back okay. to reality. So, this Timberland game is just like MTV Music Generator, but way better. So, okay. I feel like I should wait for your complaints about it and then, like, kind of dip back in this, like, uh, experimental narrative presentation. <laughs> Um, well, shit. Yeah, fuck, man. I wish. Or do you I... want to hear about it? I'm, I'm. Am I confusing things? I mean, I guess I do want to hear about it, but maybe we should complain about MTV Music Generator first. I don't know. I don't know how to organize. This is a fucking monkey wrench in my whole vision. All right. Well, then let me keep talking. Going. <laughs> oh yeah, you had a whole vision. Fuck. I had a thought, and then you hit where like an hour ago. We're like, hey, Tim, look at all these new games. Yeah, dude. Sorry about that. Yeah, I didn't want to commit <laughs> to any visions because I knew I would do something like this. Um, so, whoops, but it's Dunscast. Uh, it's Dunscast. You're dunsing on him. I'm dunsing on him. All right, I'll finish um, what I was saying about this game, then we'll, then we'll talk about the thing. I okay. did make a beat on it. So, spoiler alert, I made a beat on the Timberland yeah. thing. But the way that they broke it down is, like, it was really... Uh, maybe it's because I know how to use digital audio workspaces, a.k.a. DAWs. Maybe I'm comfortable with DAWs, so that's why it was easy for me to use the Timbaland game. But it was it was very simple, and it, was, it, 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 it broke it down to, again, those four buttons, you know, square, triangle, circle, X. And it was like, mm -hmm. put a loop on square, put a loop on triangle, put a loop on circle, put a loop on X. And it lets you do that, and then it gave you more tracks to layer on those four channels. Um, so let's say you're on your first track and you go, cool, I want to put a loop on square. You hit square, then it's like, do you want to make a drum loop? Do you want to make a melody loop? You pick one. And then essentially it's like they give you, they're very specific about four bars, two bars, or how long these, these loops are that they give you. Um, but you can use any of those. You can use ones that Timbaland made himself, or you can create your own loops. And it's like, they just give you a piano roll and they're like, go, pick a sound. So you get uh, like piano roll, if you're not familiar on these, on like things like Logic and Pro Tools or whatever, is like, it looks like a piano, but you could put down notes so that you could kind of create a piece of mu you you can create a piece of music without necessarily knowing having to know or read music but it's kind of just you create it the pieces that way so it gives you that in this game it gives you that in uh MTV generator no no spoilers but the way that they did it in um this Timbaland game was it was very like i said it was just very kind of easy and everything flowed well they had like a a jam mode where you could the way you would mix your tracks you can kind of just like it, toss them on and like live play and throw on random loops and then they yeah. gave you a whole other section that you could pull in new tracks while you were already playing kind of like the joke i made earlier when i was like hey maybe you need an extra monitor to pull in tracks 
for DJ Hero, they kind of had that element where it was like, oh, if you want to p- throw in another track, like they were all the default loops. It's not like throw in Feel Good Ink. It's like throw in Timbaland Bass Loop 3. But like mm-hmm. you were still able yeah. to import new sounds while you were performing. And I thought it was actually really well done. I'm really mad that we didn't play this, but we played MTV Music Generator. I'm very upset right now. Yeah, so shout out to Hajino. Tell me about it your... It even has a fucking, you know, connection to hip-hop. Yeah. Like, MTV Music Generator. MTV ain't hip-hop? No. Well, what about MTV Raps? Eh, hip-hop. Fine. Fine. That's hip-hop, Whatever. but, you know, MTV's not hip-hop now, you know? MTV is not even music. I think MTV was music, and, you know, I know that whole conversation has been had, but it's like, when it was music, it was hip-hop, you know? At a certain point. At a certain point. Not 100% all the time, you know? Well, yeah, of course not. But also, I feel like it took MTV a little... I don't know. I don't know the history of MTV or its inner workings yeah, well enough should... to actually say anything yeah and i should probably say this. no more about the <laughs> wonderful paramount corporation that we all love. <laughs> <laughs> um but i mean like i don't know it does still sound like a convoluted step sequencer which is absolutely what mtv music generation generator is yeah um and which isn't fun honestly i mean it sounds like Beta Reader is a little more streamlined and yeah. easier to use. Um, but, like, ultimately, like, it's kind of, it kind of sucks to, like, make your whole, like, all your music just by, like, you know, clicking where certain, like, notes or, like, drum hits go. It's kind of. But that's like, how it is. No. Yeah, I really. mean, it doesn't have to be, but, I like, mean, a lot of people work like that. A lot of people work exclusively in step sequencers? No. Mm, well. No. no, no, no. People tap out beats for the most part. Um, and, I mean, like, I know that you, you know, can obviously use steps. Okay. I guess we should probably maybe define what a step sequencer is. Go for Wait, it. Or did we just do that a minute ago? I don't know. My short-term memory is shot to hell. Um, um, I did say, it. it's you know, basically you're just like, you know, clicking a space and you're like okay i want this sound here and then at this other point in this you know bar i wanted this other sound and you you know just organ you you assign places for different sounds and different notes rather than actually like playing a drum beat like by tapping pads or you know playing a melody using a keyboard you're just sort of like like note here note there note this place you know yeah and that's just like it's not as much fun well you know it's funny because i think i learned how to produce using step sequencers so i'm not as and by step sequencers i don't mean like hardware i mean fruity loops had a step sequencer and that's kind of how i would arrange my beats because i would chop samples and then i would put those samples into the step sequencer and it's no, it's not so dissimilar. I mean, it's the same as step sequencer, and yeah, I'll, I'll take a crack actually. at describing step sequencer too because I just wanna. I have this like while you were talking, I was like, what if you said it this way? Um, <laughs> it's gonna suck though. I want to just say like, there's essentially eight buttons you could press, right? If you think of eight buttons in a row, and you're like, I want the first button to be a kick, the third button to be a snare, and you could do that with any kind of sound, then you hit play, it's still gonna be looping over that in this like regimented kind of stiff way where one, is that any better? I don't know, probably. I mean, it's fine, it's fine. I just wanted to give it a shot. I, I like, mean, you know. I like talking, I, I like the sound of my own voice too. <laughs> I wanted to give it a I shot. I like the sound of your voice too, so. Together we make a beautiful harmony. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah um, I mean you say that and you know it's true like for a lot of like a lot like pretty much like the first I guess half at this point of my wow 
I'm old. Um, hey, you're allowed. At least like half of my beat making journey was like sort of copying and pasting things in a DAW. You know, I would take a kick and I would copy it and then paste it at various points and then take a snare and copy and paste it at various points. Uh, Chop up samples, move the individual sample sounds to various parts of the thing, blah, 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 blah. That's super interesting, too, because I remember when we first were, you know, running into each other and starting to uh, flirt with each other's creative (laughs) energies. Uh, seeing that you and Head Trip were making beats on Digital Performer, yes. which, you know, basically Pro Tools, I was using Fruity Loops for a very long time. And now that we're just, you know, talking about it, I do see the difference a little bit where I do recall being like, wow, you guys do it like that. You kind of just like pop it in the, the thing. And it's, you know, there's no wrong answer. We both do it how we do yeah. it. It's just so interesting to see how there's so many ways to skin a cat. Mm-hmm. And I would want to see i wonder if there's an experience like yours or just taking pieces of audio and and playing with those in a game and like collaging sounds with with audio files Mm -hmm. and that would almost be like a a truer djing experience almost Mm -hmm. even if it wouldn't be around hip-hop music is that am i making sense i i think i think I just got British. Um, Did you hear that? Oh, nice. You're I was slipping. like, I was like, Am I, is that making sense? <laughs> well, a bit of sense there. I okay. So long story short, I wasn't as mad as MTV at music, whatever it is, like you were. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Well. Yeah. Also, well, I we, I said this in private. Maybe I said it publicly, but this is definitely the root of me making a beat ever. I know for a fact that MTV Music Generator 3 I owned on PS2, and that was like the first time I made beats and oh, wow. had an interest and felt like I kind of knew what I was doing. Because oh, I definitely wow. went from there to Fruity Loops. Well, I, and there might have been interesting. a Because I gap. did. I did see MTV Music Generator as kind of like baby's first DAW. Not to like, I mean, I'm not like putting you down or anything. Oh no, not at all, baby or anything. But I mean, you know, just sort of that is the that was if that was the beginning of your your beat making experience it makes me think like, well, okay, you know, it wasn't like you know, I'm pretty on, maybe I'm pretty on point, maybe I'm pretty insightful, you know. Yeah. Maybe I'm like incredibly brilliant. I think you are, dude. I rented yeah. this one when I was a kid. Well, you know what's okay. going to actually Tell me more about your your experience. What, just playing this one and, like even today? All of the gener just give me a rundown of your generator. Your I, generation. I, I should have played the third one, um, but it was definitely like marketed as a remix thing, whereas mm. like this, like in the way that we were just talking about how like Fuser will be like, "Hey, here's a uh, Lady Gaga's bass tracks. Mm. Mix it with some fucking Rage Against the Machine, which is actually in the game." Um, I think MTV Music Generator 3 was more like that, where mm-hmm. it's like, here's a library of stems from, like, officially MTV-sponsored shit, you know, mm-hmm. and play with that. I remember pretty much nothing, to be honest. I'd have to, like, <laughs> I'd have to jog my memories. If I looked at the track list, I, I might be able to be like, oh, fuck, I made a remix out of this. I think, oh, my God, yes. Sorry, Sean Paul. I made a Sean Paul remix on this What? Thing. And oh I think God. it was, take that thing, this, ba da ba da oh, have to be. That song is so fucking good. Yes. Um, Anyway, that was 2004 when this game came out. Music, no, Music Generator 3 is when, in 2004. So I was 14. This checks out because my first thing that I ever put out, I started making when I was 15. And so about, I guess I I was off of this a year later making real music. (laughs) That's dope, dude. Arguably real music. (laughs) It's real. Uh, I think my biggest qualm with it, it was just the limits of the technology, which I played on an emulator, but I'm actually in a, I guess, a purist sense, happy that it limited 
how many uh, tracks I could put in. Because it gives you, you know, like, the way that it lets you just drag and drop, like, Tetris blocks, kind of. Each Tetris block corresponds to a loop. So yes. now you have this kind of collage of squares on your screen. Mm -hmm. And wherever you can fit in another square is where you can fit in more sound. But at a mm -hmm. certain point, it's just like, you can't add any more squares. So our hardware cannot run this because computers aren't good yet or whatever. <laughs> I mean, like, they give you a lot of squares to work with. I, I want to hear your beat, and I want to hear my beat again. I want to hear your beat. Ooh, I want to hear your beat. I yeah. don't want to hear my beat ever again. Do you hate it? No. It's actually, you know, like, it's it. this actually turned out a lot better than I initially thought it was going to. Yeah, we like, should make I a whole a, album like this. I, I was dreading using MTV Music Generator and doing this thing. Like, we had the agreement that we would each make a beat on this on this thing and I really didn't want to because like so I mean okay so like the basic part of it is picking out these loops but then you can also go in and edit these loops and you can change sounds or add sounds or like change notes or delete notes or add new ones or whatever but did you do that a lot in your beat oh yeah definitely I'm oh, pretty fuck, sure I did dude. that I'm, I'm straight default oh whack <laughs> nah, it's called Whack. minimalism, bitch. That's not what that's called. <laughs> the pure default sounds. That's not minimalism? Wait, what? <laughs> not quite. Um, <laughs> I mean, it depends on how many you know sounds you made. If you, oh, if it's you... actually like maximalist. It's like I, it's yeah. to the brim. Did you use all your blocks? I yeah. That's how oh my I got, god! That's how I got on this train. That's why. Holy why, shit! That's why we're, you used all your blocks. I'm yeah, kind man. Of scared. I hear melodies coming from every earlobe, dude. My hair like, is like a symphony. I got halfway down and I was just like, I don't need to add any more of the any more to this. This is cool. I'm done. This is fine. Yeah, mine <laughs> like satisfactory. mine goes places, but it's the same the whole time. It also lets you really stack up drums. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Going which I back, really enjoy doing. You know what? You yeah. would enjoy it more in the in the Timbaland game, Beater Raider. I really want I wish we'd played that game. It sounds I did. Better. You didn't. You had the opportunity. I sent you this link. My dude. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, it sounds like you don't actually want to be here. Michael, I'm seeing you in two days. I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a kick. In you the know pants. what's fucking cool is I was panicking in order to download that game, and it's on PSP, and I have a Vita, and I was like, "Fuck, do I need to actually just download this?" And I almost I pulled it up on my actual PS Vita with like the purchase now button, but it was twenty dollars, and I couldn't I couldn't do that. <laughs> um, it's too much money. To not for this, this podcast. podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gary's not giving us a budget. <laughs> <laughs> um, but on Beaterator, it was actually really cool because they had your piano roll up, right? But they gave you all of the the sounds. It was like track one is kick one, track two is kick two, track three is snare three. You know, or Basically, they gave you options, so it, it made it very easy to stack drum sounds in the program in a way that I thought was really interesting. And it made me go, I wonder if Timbaland like really fought for that, you know, mm -hmm. it was, it was as like a, just someone who's made beats before it was much different than this, where it's like an MTV music generator, you're picking a bunch of loops and you could modify them. But like, there's not in oh, God. incorporated kind of like, hacks already or like hey like let's make it easy for them to do this because this is actually like drum stacking is a thing you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's just cool it's just like i guess another example to me of seeing a product created by somebody who gave a shit about the art and the culture like mm -hmm. you know yeah. do you want to listen to these beats because I, I guess so i guess so i think i've complained about this program enough um gee, i'll go first if you're scared, dude, or if you're brave, I'll still go first. But hey, uh, how are we doing this, by the way? I figured that we would, I could share my computer audio 
through okay. Zoom. Okay, that does make sense. But um, uh, Gary needs to allow me to share my screen. Ah, you put the scratches in there. Ooh. This is some heavy shit. Yeah, it sounds like a nine inch nails. <laughs> I wanna fuck you like an animal. I wanna feel you from the inside. <laughs> this oh, is yeah. great. Thank you. Yeah, this is. This is. I wanna. This is where you get to experience what it's like to show people your beats. <laughs> and I get to go. It, it changes a little later. Hold on, just wait. <laughs> Wait, do you have people talking in there? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't do any of those things. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, we got breakdowns, breakups, lefts, oh rights. Oh, my God. Typical dumb speed. You're like, oh, this beat's cool, and then it turns into something you hate. I'm into. I mean, I'm still here. I'm still into it. I'm still chill. You're spitting bars in your head right now. Uh. 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 uh mm. This is. I was gonna add Love so this. much more, and this is where it was just like, no more. You can't do more. <laughs> yeah, that's really it. Uh, it's six seconds. Ah, uh, you didn't. Finish. Ooh, yeah, baby. Nice. Dude, I'm into that. I liked that. I liked that a lot. Yeah, it's straight mediocre. <laughs> you know what I found annoying? All what? right, so, like, I really don't like that, like, heavy, like, hi-hat cymbal sound. In my song? In your song. I also, it's Thanks, also dude. in my song. No, it's oh. also in my song because I feel like they didn't, that was, like, their cymbal sound. Oh yeah, and yeah. I was like very dissatisfied. Like I actually tried fucking with it. I was the like, the EQ can... options are shit in this game. Oh my god, yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even try to do the EQ. I literally was just trying to find a different fucking <laughs> yeah. sound, and I just couldn't find another that like did the same sort of thing. Oh, but like you know. I tried to fuck with, you can't even hear it, but I, I wanted to make it a little different. I've been fucking around with um just kind of like experimental sounds and stuff. We did, we actually did some stuff together. Uh, depression naps. Anyway, uh, I was trying, they give you this option in MTV mu music generator for your song, pick a starting tempo and an end tempo, which is the weirdest thing. That was so weird. So I, I actually kept it at one BPM the whole time beats mm -hmm. per minutes for you normies. And, but you can change the, the reverb. So I tried to right make on. the reverb over time, get more echoey and like with more feedback, but oh, I didn't do it as extreme. You can't tell. It just sounds like normal huh. PS1 garbage music. <laughs> um, but I want to hear uh, yours. All right, cool. I will, uh, I'll, I'll share my thing, right? You know, That's, you gotta uh, do it. Wait, can I? I don't think I can. Screen you got to share, share screen unless screen share is clicked is is grayed out. I don't use Zoom enough. I basically oh okay. Um Gary, it's in the it's in the Dropbox. Do you Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's from there. So, let me know when you let me know when you're ready and I'll I'll give it a little intro. All right. Oh, do you want me to? I thought you were just going to play it for me. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Start share. Is that it? That's the one. Um, desktop one. Oh, wait. No, I didn't do the right thing. My bad. Wait. Um, hold on. Stop share. Let's try this again. Share sound. There we go. Share. Oh my goodness. Samurai banana. Wow. 
Yes. What up, Gary? Don't you hear in this? I'm gonna win. Cabbage is exclusive. Wow. Wow. Vinny, 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 oh! Yeah, I know. Let's do this. I'm hopping on them turtles. Wow. I'm falling over hurdles. Wow. You think that I'm your hero, but my overalls are purple. See, my mama says I'm perfect. Wow. Papa was a mogul. I'm starving for them riches, y'all. I'm Wario, it's my world now. Yeah, I'm more than a portmanteau when I am on a hat flipped upside down. Green shoes with the pointy toes and a big pink nose. I'm my own man now. I'm a horde that gold. Trashy place. Lightning bolt shaped stash on a face. No garlic glow for a snack. I might just turn my enemies to master taste. Yeah, I'm just a material girl who would rather chase cheddar than a gorgeous damsel. Kinda wreck Mario's world when I flex my strength and I stole his castle. Yeah, I'm so domineering. Beat my sneer. I'm here to burp and cackle. And I've been stealing a hearts of Nintendo fans since I showed up on Hannah. Mario wax humble like he's just another plumber. But he's busy stacking bundles. I'm gonna rob him with my brother. Yeah, that's my Luigi. Also greedy, tall and creepy. I'm probably dumber. No police, please. Y'all can eat me. Come on, it's funner when we loot and plunder. I'm a wild card. I fart hard. I ride a motorcycle leaving tire marks on your backside. I might fart a mushroom cloud with a smash time. I'm a time bomb going tick tock. I kind of love the sin. You can mind your business. I'm Wario. I'm a gonna win. I'm a kid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a gonna win. Whack. 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 Wario. I'm a gonna win. Get out of here. It's the Cabbages Podcast Network. <laughs>